Cambodia is lush, beautiful, but most of its citizens are too poor to appreciate it. They spend their lives scratching for two dollars a day if they're lucky, or fighting for their children's health. Countryside healthcare is so basic that when your child is sick, perhaps at death's door, you must beg a motorbike and get to the nearest town, perhaps a hundred kilometers away, as soon as you can. Even in pleasant towns like Siem Reap, state hospitals are little more than rudimentary. But not here. The Anchor Hospital for Children, a sparkling oasis in Cambodia's medical desert. Every morning, three to four hundred mothers and fathers pack AHC's gates with sick babies, infants, tots and toddlers. Sick with all manner of diseases, diarrhea, pneumonia, dengue fever, TB, even HIV. Worried parents, who pay a little if they can and nothing if they can't, may not know that, in Cambodia, one child in 15 dies before the age of five. What they do know is that at AHC, a hospital dependent on private donations, their precious child will get the best possible care from skilled doctors and nurses, a few Westerners, but mostly Cambodian, all highly trained. But funding, money, is always a problem. Money that can buy what most advanced hospitals take for granted. Som Sapal has been AHC's Director of Nursing for many years. How would he put a donation of $5,000 to good use? If I have $5,000 for my hospital, I would spend on buying two machines. One is the paloximeter, which is helpful for nursing staff to monitor critically ill children who come to hospitals. And number two is the suction machine, which is health nursing staff for suction patients with pneumonia, asthma, bronchiolitis. These two kinds of machines are very important for nursing staff to provide good quality care to the children in the hospital. At AHC, there's a daily round of patient inspections. Sin Chum Rat, manager of the emergency room and ICU for 11 years, participates in these sessions, part of the intensive training program for local medical staff. If I have $10,000, I will buy the new X-ray machine. If I have two X-ray machines, uh, 10 years old already, they not work properly. That's why it's important to have the new one. It to make fast diagnosis, fast treatment to provide better care for children. That's uh, how I spend for $10,000. Thirty-five kilometers from Siem Reap, a small district referral hospital serves the town of Srotnikum and its far-flung villages. In partnership with the government, AHC has built a satellite unit within the hospital's grounds, offering quality health care to rural children. Helen Catton, satellite manager, and Tan Bun Chun, nurse manager, have worked at the unit since it opened in 2010. The staff at 30 treats dozens of sick children every day, sending only the most serious cases to AHC in Siem Reap. If I had $25,000, I would buy an incubator. And actually with $25,000, we could buy three. We have one right now, but it's not working well. And an incubator is essential in saving the lives of the premature and newborn babies that we get from the health centers and from the referral hospital. And here, satellite is in the rural community. And without that essential incubator, the children would simply die. Back in Siem Reap, Dr. Nguyen Chan Pektra 
has 12 years of experience at AHC. As the hospital's senior doctor and medical director, he oversees training for all junior doctors as well as providing first-class clinical treatment for many sick children. If I have $50,000, I would like to buy a new ventilator and ventilator supply for a year because it's great useful for the hospital to keep provide quality care for the patient. It can save a lot of children lives. Every day we do have a lot of very sick children that need assist ventilator support. Right now we do not have enough uh, ventilator. Two are broken. Most of the time we run out of ventilator. We need a nurse for the hand baking for the patient. Hand baking is not good for the patient care. A new ventilator is vital for the hospital. Since its founding in 1999, the hospital has cared for over half a million child patients, most suffering the debilitating effect of Cambodia's endemic poverty. To continue building on and improving this extraordinary achievement, AHC depends on the generosity of donors across the world. Dr. Bill Howdsworth is Executive Director. If someone was kind enough to give us $100,000 for the hospital, I would use the money to fix some challenges that were presented by the way the hospital was originally built. The hospital is a beautiful architectural structure, but it was laid out kind of like a red cross. So if you look down on it, it looks like a cross. And right in the middle of that cross is an operating theater. And that presents some challenges for us uh, to use the facility as a hospital. So let me show you what I'm talking about. This is our operating theater, and it sits right in the middle of that red cross. And across the hallway from the operating theater is a sterilization room. It's not connected, and it's open to the outside. And down the hallway here to the right is the surgical unit, again not connected. By renovating this area, connecting everything, and making the flow better, we're going to be able to treat more patients, do a higher quality care, and improve things like our infection control and the number of patients that we're able to see. So if I was given $100,000 a day, we'd make a big difference by renovating this area and improving our surgical capabilities. AHC's conviction that every child has the right to a healthy and loving life is the founding principle of the hospital. If this is your conviction too, can you help with a donation? These examples show how some members of the hospital staff would put donated funds to good use. But there are many other needs and other ways in which donations of any size could be used for better health, better lives and a better future. If you can help with a donation, you would make the children of Cambodia very happy.